The crowd welcomed her like a queen. After all, Simone Bagbo is her husband, Laurent's biggest supporter. Four months after Ivory Coast's election, one that the international community believes belonged to Alassane Ouattara, the Bagbos are still in residence at the presidential palace in Abidjan and are showing no signs of leaving any time soon. On Sunday, the incumbent First Lady hosted a political rally come church service for her husband's supporters, where government ministers read the gospel alongside priests. Has Laurent Bagbo not been thrown in prison by Alassane Ouattara? Has Bagbo himself put Alassane in prison? He could give the order that Alassane be arrested and thrown in jail, but he will not, because he is a man of God. God calls Ivory Coast to free Africa. Simone Bagbo took the stage to denounce what she sees as a world ganging up on her husband and her country. Shame on you, Ban Ki-moon. Shame on you, Sarkozy. Shame on you, Obama. And we say shame on you, Alassane Ouattara. Mrs Bagbo then invoked a higher power. God tells us this, that despite all these shepherds gathered against us, the lion is not scared by their voices, nor intimidated by the number of them. It was a weekend of defiance from a group seemingly hell-bent on staying in power. As the international mediation falters, the violence continues. The UN says at least 460 people have been killed since November.